Hi, I'm Megan. And I'm Krista. We're two nerds getting our PhDs in chemistry, and we started this channel to explain the science behind things that you see every day. So please like, comment, subscribe, and let us know what you'd like to see us talk about next. And thanks for joining us on Explain by Nerds with Megan and Krista. We're talking about the science of MSG. Yep, this stuff. Today we'll be answering a few questions. What is MSG? Where does it come from? And will it kill you? So, what is it? MSG stands for monosodium glutamate. Sometimes monosodium glutamate is called glutamic acid, but they're the same thing. It's a molecule and a chemical. It's also an amino acid. Amino acids are really important. They are the molecules that make up all of the proteins in our bodies. Without proteins, we wouldn't have hair or nails and none of our cells would work. We need proteins, and so we need amino acids. There are nine essential amino acids. They're essential because our body can't make them, so we have to get them from food. But glutamic acid is one of 11 non-essential amino acids. It is non-essential because your body actually makes it. That's right, you're full of MSG. <gasps> All of this talk is making me hungry. So, Krista, where can we find MSG? I'm so glad you asked, Megan, because we're eating it right now. Mm. And for all you MSG haters out there, get ready to get shook. Since MSG is found in proteins, it's found in a lot of naturally occurring sources. It's not just some random chemical that people made to put into Chinese or other Asian foods to make them taste good. Yeah, so stop saying MSG is in Chinese food, and that's why Chinese food is bad for you. You can find it in mushrooms and fruits like grapes and tomatoes. I love tomatoes. A quick question, fruit or vegetable? Mm, I would say fruit. Okay, that's what Google says too. Mm. Anyways. <laughs> MSG is also in cheese. My forbidden love. Thanks, lactose intolerance. We can talk about your lactose intolerance in another episode, okay, boo? Oh Americans actually unknowingly eat MSG all the time in our favorite processed snack foods. Yeah, and things like flaming Hot Cheetos. Doritos. Ramen. Ruffles. More ramen. Ooh. And if you actually were to look at the ingredients, you would see it right there. Monosodium glutamate, but sometimes they sneak it in under a different name. Glutamic acid. Nom, 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 nom. So you've been probably eating MSG your whole life. And you never knew it. That's right. A lot of salty and savory snacks include MSG for flavor. Like those Campbell's soups you probably grew up with, full of MSG. And by now you're probably thinking, what is life? I have been eating MSG this whole time. But MSG is terrible for you. Mm -hmm. It gives you cancer. It'll make you die, mm -hmm. you know, but uh, unfortunately everyone dies, but not from MSG. So, stop saying MSG is bad for you, because it's not. Everyone eats it, and everyone is made of it. MSG is a good molecule, and it doesn't deserve the bad reputation that it's gotten from Western culture. Next time you go out and eat Chinese food and you feel a little bad afterwards, think about the other parts of your meal. Was it super salty? Was anything fried? Did you have a bunch of caffeinated tea? It's probably those components that are causing your suffering and not the MSG. Thank you, Megan. This almost makes up for all the years that everyone's been telling me how much MSG is in Chinese food. Happy to help. Thank you. We hope that you enjoyed this episode of Explained by Nerds. Please comment with other stuff that you want us to talk about and don't forget to like and subscribe. Yes, yes, and now we have Instagram, Woo -woo. so you can check out episode updates, behind the scenes, and our favorite things, the bloopers. Bloopers! You can find us at Explained by Nerds, info will be down below. That's all we got for you today. Okay, thanks, bye. Nerds, Nerds out. out.